Hey guys, it's Mr. Feedy here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to tackle, or pretty much how to take on, armored security guards within FOBs. Now, you're probably wondering why would I be covering this type of video, considering that most of you know how to take them on. Well, I kind of thought to myself that not many players, especially the newer players, or players that are returning back to Mega Solid, don't know how to actually tackle most of these security guards. And although there are some methods that are much better than others, I kind of want to cover, like, I kind of want to show you that there are more better and more useful ways to improve on your skills and to actually improve upon taking out security guards without going either full lethal mode on them. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do this. I'm going to show you a few videos of what type of equipment is best for them. And I'm going to show you a really nice and easy method that actually is more useful compared to the others. So I do hope you enjoyed the video, and let's start. So, the first thing you would do is that, let's imagine this scenario. You're on an FOB, and your first obstacle is a security guard that is completely in a battle dress. Now this battle dress is covered in pure armor plates from head to toe, and you're probably thinking, okay, I can take this guard out quite easily by using my Wu pistol. Not only known for the fact that your Wu pistol has no effect on him whatsoever, instead he'll look at it, kind of shrug it off, and most likely walk away. Now, you can either you can go lethal on the guy, or on the security unit, but going lethal is kind of bad and not exactly a reliable method unless you need to do it. And even if you need to do it, there's, pro there's probably more better choices than this. So you're thinking to yourself, how do I take this guy out without causing too much of an alert? but also taking them out so that it doesn't cause any alert on the base or notify the defender. So, your first method is to use the S1000 non-lethal shotgun. Now, the S1000 non-lethal shotgun is a shotgun that you can, you can make quite easily when you play the story player game. You can get the blueprint quite easily, and it allows you to knock out security guards from grade 7 equipment to below in one shot. So, from close to medium range, as long as you have the S1000 or lethal variant shotgun and you shoot at the security guard that is completely covered in armor from head to toe, he'll be knocked out in one single shot. And this is probably one of the most best and reliable methods when it comes down to FOB. A lot of players will tell you that if you want to do good in FOBs or if you want to last doing FOBs, always make sure you have the S1000 equipped with you and upgraded. Now what makes it even more better is the silencer attached to it. Now when you first create it, you won't have the silencer for it. And when you do create the silencer, it'll be a grade 1. What you want to do is get the grade 2 variant, so that overall when you do do FOBs, that you always are prepared. And no matter what, as long as you have that silencer on top of your weapon, every FOB will be a breeze to do. But the weapon has limits. When you use that grade 7 variant on grade 8 and above soldiers with grade 8 equipment, it would, it would then start to take out guards in two shots, instead of it being one. But this is because of um, the armor difference that security guards have. So like I said, if they are grade 8, and your weapon is only grade 7, it will be doing two shots. But like I said, you can also upgrade this weapon to be a grade 8 variant as well. But it takes a bit more time to do so, and actually build. So for those that want to be quick into FABs, I do recommend that you use the grade 7 shotgun with silencer and pretty much most FOBs will be a breeze. So now say that you don't have this weapon, or say that you do have this weapon but you're more a person that likes to take the guards out at close range. The other method I have available for you is the riot pistol. Now the riot pistol is a kind of a unique, special but very low ammo pistol that sends a, or disperse a small air of non-lethal gas at the given target and knocks them out straight away. Now it's good in close to medium ranges and you can pretty much shoot it at anywhere of the, on the body and it will always knock them out straight away. Only problem with this though is it's limited ammo. Just, it's ammunition is really really low when you first get it so I do recommend that you either go get the grade 2 or grade 3 variant. But it actually has enough ammo to last you for the final platform. And when I mean largely for the final platform, I mean you can only use it for the final platform to take out all guards. I do not recommend that you use it on any other security guards, 
on the other platforms when you're crossing over, unless you need B. But it's a really good weapon, I use this weapon quite a lot, and if you watch some of my videos you would see that I only use it for the, late, for the last platforms when I'm trying to get to the main core, as that's when it's more reliable and more usable. Now if you want to get this weapon, you have to get it through an event, but it doesn't show up all the time, it's quite, like I said, like most events, it's 50-50. So I don't know whether next week or the week after you'll get the right pistol, but you got to pay attention to the events that happen every Tuesday around 9 o'clock. And around 9 o'clock they'll update the event with the new blueprint. And it could be the right pistol, and if it is the right pistol, I do suggest that you get some points, get the um, right pistol or blueprint, and build it. So that's what. those are the two most common weapons to use. Now to always back them up, you can always use your smoke grenade, your sleep grenade, and your stun grenades to knock them out. The only problem with these is the fact that one, stun grenades make a loud noise, and usually security guard will hear it, and now and they're going amber alert. Smoke grenades and sleep grenades, well, pretty much like the name says, smoke can be seen by security guards, and when they're seen, they'll pretty much be called in for an amber alert. So. Overall, yes, they're reliable, but not reliable by all means. So now you're probably thinking to yourself, "Well, I want to, I want to take out the security guard without alerting all the base. I just want to knock these security guards out so I can move to the next platform without being spotted or notified or defender popping in. How can I do that?" All right. So to actually, go ahead and do this. You're gonna need two things. One. You're going to need a non-lethal pistol, preferably the Wu pistol or the non-lethal AM-MOS rifle. I've used the AM-MOS 71 non-lethal or 73, please correct me if I am wrong. And two, you're going to be wanting to focus a lot of your attention on the security guard's head. Now remember when I said the security guards are armoured head to toe? Yeah, that was kind of a lie. Ish. They are properly armoured from head to toe, but there's only one area on the body that's actually vulnerable, and that is the mouth. Now the mouthpiece you're probably wondering is like, the mouthpiece is really small, to actually get this, now to actually aim at the mouthpiece, it's going to take a lot of practice and time to actually land. But here's the thing that can actually help you, the non-lethal sniper rifle is one of the best when it comes down to knocking out security guards and leaving no traces and to actually get to the end platform in a quick amount of time before say an amber alert or defender pops in. Now the good thing about non-lethal methods is that when you knock out a guard through sleep method, they knock out much longer compared to if you use your CQC or if you use like a decoy to knock them out or such. So the one thing you want to learn and one thing I really do recommend that you practice on is to aim for the security guard's mouth. Every armoured guard won't have their mouth covered. They have the head and the eyes and the rest of the body completely covered, but the mouth will always be uncovered. Ideally, if you have the Wu pistol, practice on your uh, practice on your own security guard, on and go test it on your own fobs, and always try to aim at security guard's mouth. And when you do, you'll notice how quickly they get knocked out. But better off if you want to have more quicker ac accuracy and want to land your shots more better. Always bring yourself the non-lethal AM MRS rifle or sniper rifle. Even one of these weapons that you use, by zooming in and aiming at the mouth specifically, you'll knock them out. And by knocking them out, no defenders or no alerts or whatsoever will occur. So overall, I do recommend that you have to practice. Think of it kind of like practicing your headshots. Now, when you're practicing your headshots, you're always gonna rely on your reptile to land on the user's head and then find that point there you just pull the trigger and it's done. Now that you have an obstacle on that given head, try and focus it on the mouth. Now the mouthpiece when you're using a, when using a Wu pistol for example is going to be a bit more harder than normal. But through, time, through practice and a, lot of and a lot of failures, you'll be able to pull it off successfully. So overall, Using non-lethal methods such as the shotgun or the right pistol and such are good for knocking out armored security guards. 
But if you really want to knock security guards out quite easily and without causing an alert or making an actual noise, then try and use the Wu pistol and the non lethal pistol. Non lethal pistol? I mean, try and use the non lethal AM MRS sniper rifle on the security guards' mouths. Always try to aim for their mouths when you're using those type of pistols. As a lot of people will tell you that it's important is that armored guards are too heavily protected and that using a shotgun and all that is actually bad methods. But actually, using the sniper rifle, the non lethal variant, and using the non lethal Wu pistol on security guard is actually possible. It just means you have to focus your attention on their mouths. And as long as you aim at their mouths and shoot it, your chances at getting better FOBs increases by tenfold. So guys, I do hope you enjoyed the video, I do hope you learned something today. Like I said, this video is aimed for those that want to know how to take out security guards through a variant of non-lethal methods. I've kind of explained to you how to take out security guards using non-lethal methods, for example by aiming at the mouse or using the S1000 or riot pistol. Now if you do enjoy the video, do leave a comment in the comment section, or better off, leave a like and subscribe and share for more. So I do hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you again soon.